mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. Yes, everybody, as you can see, it's been raining uh, here in South Florida. Look at the pond, though. It is filled up, man. So today I thought I'd do a video where we just roll around and check on the animals and visit with some of our uh, more famous inhabitants. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Right now, however, we're in standing inside the radiated tortoise enclosure. And these guys, man, they are just doing great. They don't mind the wet weather. They're active during the wet times. They're always walking around. And if you're not careful with the radiated tortoises here at Camp Kennan, and you're wearing open toe shoes, you are gonna get it. These guys are very, very, uh, well, let's say, uh, food motivated. And how's another cool thing, since it is June, look what's happening. We've got beautiful mangoes on the trees. These are falling off. They ripen and soften, and the tortoises get to eat them. Let's go see what's going on in the pond. I'm just gonna do a quick check it out. Look at this guy, little leopard tortoise. Uh, that's something you don't see all the time. They're soaking in a little puddle. Uh, these guys are acclimated to the high humidity here and they do very well. Uh, but if it kept raining day in and day out, I pulled them in and put them in the, uh, the barn over there. But right now we got some elongateds in the pond area here. They're doing great. And uh, well, we won't be able to see the fly river turtles at all. I know they're famous, but I'm not getting in there today. But I love it when the ponds are all full. This part of the year, uh, you know, it's really, there's one of the Batagra finish right there. You can see its head. You can see its head just off my finger. See it straight up? Oh, he just went down. That's really cool. They're getting a little less shy, which is nice. But I love this. Everything grows. It's lush. The humidity is out in the back. That's just hanging all over my skin. Come on, let's go over here, guys. Uh, like I said, after rain, I like to check in on everybody and see what's doing. But it's cool to see the tortoises soaking in the puddles. They love it. So even the leopard tortoises, even though when it's, they're normally a species that, you know, get more of a dry area, you can actually find them uh, soaking in puddles when they are available. And I also like to take the hibiscus, chuck it down here for these guys to eat. Very cool to be able to grow things. And with all this rain, food is plentiful, man. Oh, that's so cool. So watch, they'll just, they'll make use of those, no worries. Let's move over here to the sulcatas. They've been locked up out of the muddy uh, mess that their pasture has become. So they're all just hanging out in here. But look at this, guys. Well, oh, my goodness, that's why I wear these boots. You just get creamed, no problem back here. So again, everybody's hanging out. If they're not out, they're inside their barn relaxing. Again, we got fruit trees ready to drop fruit. I'm gonna get on that too, because it's mango season, which I love. This little gal's just soaking up some of the sun. But let's go see one of our more famous inhabitants and see how he's doing with all this rain. Slinky, what's up, brother? Two of my favorite lizards uh, reside in here, or three of my favorite lizards reside in here. Watch your little feet there, Tom. Dang, that's a lot of water. Yeah, collects because we have the cement down there to keep him from digging out if he ever got into this airlock. Watch your head when you come in. Hey, Slinky, what are you doing, Bubba? Oh my gosh, and after a storm like this, all the pine needles fall into this. It's kind of a pain in the neck, to be honest. But there he is, everyone. Slinky's doing well. And uh, he's not really doing much today. He's trying to soak up as much sun as he can. What's cool is, is this uh, pothos vine is starting to really grow out and kind of spread out and I'll help it grow. You see, I can kind of just, I've been guiding it and I'm hoping that I can just grow it all the way around. And I think that would give it a nice lush look and add something to the enclosure. Uh, there is a fly river turtle in here, which is hanging out, the one that went on the lamb. Uh, it's back now and doing very well. So that one's chilling out in here. I gotta scoop up all these pine needles and we're gonna run some water through this every night it goes on that cycling. Let's see what Lola Guaps are doing. Hey man, hey, come here, come on. You want to be getting up here, I love them so much. Is this not the coolest lizard? Hey Guapo, how you doing? Let me silence that. Knucklehead's calling me when I don't want to talk to anyone. Uh, actually, it's Andy. Andy, I'll have to call you back. I'm in the middle of shooting a video, buddy. Uh, that was my buddy Andy Denault from Animal Kingdom. But uh, yeah, these guys are doing so well. 
They should be laying eggs soon, huh? You gonna lay eggs soon, baby? Look at her, she's getting big too. My goodness, I love this lizard, man. These lizards are amazing. These guys I've had a long time, since August of 2004. I like to help them shed a little bit. They pull that right off, no worries. You always just be gentle with them, but you can tell this is ready to go because both of these have lifted up and then pop, pops right off. It's crazy. Isn't that nuts? Uh, it's made out of keratin, this stuff, it's so good. I love these guys, man. I like to give them a scratch and a little, sh a little scratch here and a little help them with their sheds because you know what? It must feel itchy to them. You know, I don't know. I would imagine it would be itchy. I just want to get all the old stuff off and look at those fresh new spikes, huh? She is a pretty girl. Don't you love them, everyone? God, man, I'm kind of mellow. They're, they're kind of mellowing me out just seeing them in this afternoon sun. Uh, I love these nuchal. The nuchal spines here are really, really cool. Look at that. She's got really nice pronounced ones. So that's Lola. There's Guapo. They're doing real well. Oh, God. Love those lizards. Uh, let's see what the boas, the hog, the hog island boas. Let's see how they're doing in this rainstorm. Look at that, guys. Look at this. Isn't this a cool enclosure for them? This is cool. We're going to open it. It comes right by you. How about it, everybody? Oh, look at your shed. Look at that. There's some shed going on. Let me pull that out. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see, man. Ooh, I love doing this to the sheds. I like to um, I like to open them up. I don't know why. I just like to see how well they've shed all in one piece. That's always good. They turn their skin inside out. And snakes, for those of you that don't know, shed all in one piece and their eyes actually have a transparent scale over the top of them. So when they start to shed, their eyes get opaque and they don't see too well and they can sometimes get uh, more defensive uh, than they are normally. So look at this. This is nutso. Not so. Almost there, guys. And the other cool thing about the sheds is they're much, much longer than the snake because this is the skin that's been stretched out. So when you undo it, which is a habit of mine, it really looks cool. It's always a science project in the backyard, which I love. There's always something unique going on here, especially after rain. You get to see animals moving all out and about. And uh, I, I find that's one of my favorite times to actually do things around the yard, just to wander. But here it is. Look at this. And let's see if we can get these eye caps showing. This is the top. Here it is. Oh my gosh, let's see. There we go. Look at how perfect that shed's get. There's an eye cap, see? And there's an eye cap, can you see? How cool is that? And there's the bottom jaw. So you know what's fun, guys? You can do with your sheds? Is I take them and I kind of throw them out uh, on the front gate and stuff. So it freaks people out when they come in. I love it. Like, like put it by the mailbox. <laughs> I think my mailman would be pretty amped. Uh, anyway, but look at that beauty right there, huh? How gorgeous is that Hog Island boa just enjoying the last rays of sunset today? I think that's pretty cool. All right, we'll let them relax. We'll get out of this cage and move on to another area. Let's go see some other snakes. Let's go see the diamond python and Colin. I know you guys are interested in seeing them. See you guys. Stay beautiful. Oh, look who went in the water. Yeah. Yeah, hey. Slinky went in the water. Hey, buddy. Come on, man. Come over here. Come over here and say hello to everyone. Come on. Come on. They love you. You're their favorite. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Slinky, my little sea monster. Love you, man. All right, let's go. Okay, moving on, let's go see that diamond python and Colin. Ethel and Colin. Oh gosh, then we're gonna find a nice home for this, for sure. Cherry heads are doing well, they're all out. After rain, everyone comes on out. They're looking for food, so you know what, guys? I'm just gonna chuck some cactus in. How's that? That's fun, right? Super easy, right? This is something you can do. You can, if you live in an area, or even if you live up north, just pot, put this in the pot, and uh, you can have your own little cactus farm. What kind of cactus is it? That's a puntia cactus. It's spineless prickly, prickly pear, paddle-shaped cactus. So let's see, where is everybody? There's Colin up there, but I think Ethel went inside. Ethel. Where are you? 
We gotta see her. Come here, girl. Look at her. Bring her up close. Let me see if I can get her. Oh my gosh, where is she? Oh god, she's is she in there? I hope so. Yeah, she is. Uh, there she is. Always fun to reach in and grab a snake, right? Oh, oh she was all curled up and happily getting out of that cold. Uh, Not cold, rather, the uh, uh, the um, rain. Hi, baby girl. Uh, Look at my girl. What a nice snake, huh? Is this not a beautiful snake, everybody? So psyched. She's doing so well in here. We're going to look for a male for her. And uh, maybe we'll get some babies out of her, right? And then, of course, I'm going to be building new enclosures when we go to the new uh, sanctuary. All these snakes are coming with us. So these snakes will be uh, available for you guys to visit with when you book a tour. And come visit Kyle and I's sanctuary, which we'll have, uh, we'll have more news for you real soon about that as well. Awesome. I'm sorry I woke you up, but everyone wanted to see you, and uh, I hope you'll forgive my intrusion. She seems to be doing just fantastic here. I really am excited about this snake. Remember, these snakes can live outdoors all year long in South Florida because they can hibernate. So that'll be neat. That'll be really cool. So go ahead, baby girl. You just slither on around. Uh, if you want to go back in your hole, go in your uh, little cave. If not, enjoy the sunlight. And there's Colin up there. Look at him. Looking uh, sharp as ever. Two Australian snakes hanging out here in Palm Beach County. All right, let's go on out. Let's see. Ugh. Oh, I think uh, there's a couple more famous animals we got to visit with that everyone wants to see or always asks about. And I have a good place to put this. Check this out. Let's do this. In case uh, somebody gets too close to the property, in addition to all the other security measures we have, like the electric fence and so on, let's throw this up haphazardly and see if we can freak some people out for a little while. I think if we did that, I think that's nice, right? It adds a little flair. So if someone comes up to the gate, they're going to see a very large shed skin. Oh, look at this, guys. You're going to love this. Come on. It's all flooded over here. But we're inside Nostradamus, Socrates, and Darwin's home. But here she is, here's Darwin, just enjoying a little soak after a rain. And I'm sure there's Nostradamus. Hey guys, what's going on? You all happy today? We had a nice downpour, there she is. I always feel, and I've said this before, don't they look like some kind of sauropod dinosaur in here? I always feel like, my gosh, Oh, I love this animal. I don't want to go too low. I'll get a wet butt. But go ahead and focus on this beauty right here. She loves to soak. This makes me happy. This animal's got earth beneath her feet. When I got her, uh, they were very nice people, but she was living in Marin County, California, and she was living on a 20 by 20 slab of cement, or actually slate rock. And as we know, as I've mentioned before, Galapagos tortoises really need terrain because the islands they come from are volcanic islands, very rocky, a lot of different terrain, and they wander large distances over those islands. So they got to go back and forth for different feeding areas and where the mud holes are. And when they do that, they actually climb uh, in altitude. And so their back legs get strengthened. So it's important when you have Galapagos tortoises in captivity here in the United States, they have different elevation. All those tree trunks, they clamber over them. They're strengthening those back legs. And she was walking with splayed out back legs. And now she walks more up on the balls of her feet, which is more of a healthy posture. So I'm really excited about that. She is looking good, man. I love this tortoise and I love Nostradamus. Let's go say hello to him and give him a head scratch. You can't come in here and not scratch him. Hey buddy, how you doing? There he is. Nostradamus. Oh, I love how he just raises up. Watch, you go underneath here, give him a scratch, and he lets me inspect him for any ectoparasites like ticks, which I'll just pull right off. And that's what would happen in the wild. Birds would kind of fly down and pluck off any ticks that might be on them. I don't see any though, thankfully. No ticks. Such strong legs. Look at these legs. This guy is built. I love this tortoise, had him since uh, August of 2004 and he just never ceases to amaze me. He's one of my favorite animals here at the camp.
Don't tell anyone else, though. Uh, yeah, well, I wanted to do a little bit of a tour uh, so you guys can be up to date and see how things are progressing. And why don't we go to one final location before we do that. We'll go visit another one of my favorite animals here at the camp. Let me show you. Look, right now, people, it's basking. You can see it up there. We gotta be quiet not to disturb it in its natural habitat. You can see it right there. Look at it sitting down. We gotta sneak up on it. This is really cool. You rarely get to see this animal. It's an elusive creature. Oh my God, look at that. Wow, just look at how it does its thing. Oh, I think it spotted us now. Oh my gosh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, what is it? Uh, Cateramus carinellus. That's, that's the Latin. That's the Latin. Anyway, Kate's out here feeding the fishies. So, as you can see, the pond, the Oxscape pond, is just doing amazing. Kate, you've really taken a liking to the pond, huh? Yeah, I like them. I like the pond and the things that live within the pond. Yes. And what did you think of me when the pond was first built? And you were a bit crazy for the pond. You know, I got a little jealous of the pond. She got jealous of the pond, everybody. Look, there a little badiger. Uh, that's a little tiny badiger uh, borneensis that we got from the turtle source. These guys are doing amazing. Look at this. He's going to eat. He's going to eat. Don't look at me. Look at this beauty right here. Oh, I love him. Yeah, he gets... Kate, Kate's becoming the turtle whisperer. Oh, maybe not. He's got oh, he a got, little, he got, he got he a got. little in his mouth. Awesome. So cool. And uh, we are loving the cichlids here. And in the future, what I'm going to do with more ponds, and I'm going to focus on certain species of cichlids. Uh, because what happened is, in my, uh, I suppose, ignorance or lack of knowledge on cichlids, you know, I put a few different species in here. Luckily, most of these are from Lake Malawi. Um, but I want to really focus. I'm really excited about the cichlids, and I want to focus on. Um, you know, putting certain species that work really well together. The cool thing is though, guys, is if you look straight down here, I've got baby mangi mangamos, the mangamos right down there. It's a blue fish swimming towards the bottom. He's coming up. Uh, here the, too. There's two there's of them. Two of them. It's two. so cool. So we're having some breedings, which is awesome. The there's fish the are breeding. Mommy. There's She's the mommy. She swam watching. away. Isn't that cool? So, you know, the pond, is obviously a, a nice ecosystem for the cichlids. They're reproducing in here. What's great is I'll take some of those fish out and I'm gonna start putting them in other uh, you know, water enclosures like Slinky's enclosure is gonna get some fish as well. So I'm excited, that's the tour, man. That's what's happening lately. Not really a, a full tour, but just keeping you guys abreast on some of the more popular areas of Camp Kennan. Uh, please go to the Patreon page, help us uh, continue to bring you videos. Uh, just go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan to help us out. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, there you go. That's it, right, Kate? That, that about sums it up. Let's go see uh, the Solo movie for the second time. It She's was thrilled. so good the first time. It was a really good movie, man. We're going to date this, but... Don't listen to the... Yeah, don't movie. listen to the press. Solo was awesome. See you guys.